In this video, we are going to solve a Python assignment for the given instructions. So, instruction is a creative program with change.py is a file name and dot .py, uh, .py is a extension name of the any Python program or Python script that has functions that take four arguments that correspond to number of quarters, dimes, nickels, and pennies respectively. And what we have to do, we have to calculate the total value of that change and then after we have to print the value in this format where x is equal to total value okay so now let's we are going to write a program so in first for first what we have to do we have to follow the instructions that so change.py so you can uh, i'm just using google collab so you uh, the code will be the same or maybe if you are using any uh, pychimp or any idle editor or any python editor so you can save the same script in any python file with the extension.py so, okay so first we are going to write the program and then later you can save the same code in any python file okay with this extension so according to instructions following first instruction will a program change.py that has a function that take four argument okay so now uh, we are going to define a functions like uh, calculate total total values and according to instructions this function will take four argument so what i'm going to do i'm just going to do copy paste okay and just replace like that okay so this is your four argument like first is quarters dimes nickels okay and pennies okay so now we are going to define the body okay so in this case what we have to do we have to create one variables name like uh, total values total value okay and what we'll do so what we have to do we have to multiply Convert everything in dollar or like this value, not like cent type of things. Okay, so we have to do like that. So for this one, for number of quarters, so maybe whatever the value given in the is quarter variables or past inside this functions argument it should be multiplied by the worth like one quarters worth 25 okay then after plus then now i'm going to use dime so one dime equal to how many cent one dime equal to 10 cent okay against uh, nickel similarly uh, nickels multiplied one nickel equal to five cent and after that one pin is is equal to one cent so pen is multiplied by one so i don't think it should be any good practice to multiply one because it, it is the same value there will not know any effect okay so still for uh, convenient i have just written them okay what we have to do according to our instructions that has a function that take four argument this one this one so now according to our instruction like the function first uh, argument is quarters second is dime second is third was nickels and one is pennies okay now uh, what we have to do after that we have to calculate the total value of that change okay so we have calculated this total value of change in this format okay like this so this is calculation or formula you can see we have multiplied each variables with the worth value like how many cent in once uh, unit okay so so we have followed the instruction till now Our last step what we have to do print the total value of x the total value of first chain is dollar x where x is equal to total value so now uh, we have to print like that so this one just copy paste in the same format okay but instead of here 
you have to pass this total value okay and now it should be a dollar what a dollar value okay so that's it so this is a very simple program now we have to call this function now if you run this one nothing will happen because we are just defined the function we haven't called the function yet okay wait for some time so it's a code is running okay so now you can see uh, is a tick mark correct okay so this is success or highlighted marks or correct marks okay so now what we have to do we have to call these functions so we have to call this function to see the output okay so now i'm going to add one more cell code cell okay and now what we have to do we have to call these functions and these functions take four argument okay so now we have to pass argument like uh, you can 50 quarters okay any 40 cents or and you can 10 or 5 or maybe 10 to anything you can do there's no just for um, <coughs> whole value uh, the whole number and just uh, given the value you can pass any value okay so what will happen once we'll we will run this code block or this code cell the output will be something like that okay so now let's check it okay so now you can see the value is the total value of your change is dollar one seven two zero okay so still every value we have calculated on total value is in cent okay not in the dollar so for that what we have to do uh, we have to do some extra step like copy and after that just divide by 100 okay why we divide by 100 because um, one dollar equal to 100 cent okay so that's why again then this code okay now run this one also okay so now you can see the value is 17 point two dollar okay so you can see still there is some mistake not not mistake you can say the output is not in correct format like we have to print something like that a like total value of for a change is dollar x so in our case between dollar and this number have some space right <clears throat> to solve this uh, we have to use some print formatting like string formatting in python okay so for doing the string formatting what we have to do we have to do something like that use some string formatting like uh, this and inside this one we have to pass uh, dollar d d stand for integers okay so now it will print the exact format like dollar <coughs> x okay so now run again this code okay. now run this one okay so now you can see the output is dollar 17 okay so why is the 17 because uh, here i have just written dollar a uh, percent d percent d stand for integers value if we instead of integers if i write f okay, dot 2f or f it will show <coughs> float value okay uh, run this one okay so you can see the this one the so now if we want to only 
stream three season so at two place so just we have to pass something like that percent dot two f and then this one okay so now you can see so hope this will be very helpful for you and thanks for watching see you in the next video with another programming questions in python